All right, tour mod time, second race of mod Wednesday, and uh, fourth overall race as we're in the second week. We're at five flags, and the car feels really good. A bit loose, but that is helpful for racing, I hope. But we got like 56 people signed up, so there should be three splits, maybe four splits. But it's good to see the numbers coming up. have no idea if it's because of Mod Wednesdays or people are seeing that uh, people are joining. We might be in second split. This might actually... <laughs> that would be absolutely nuts. I have no idea. Let's see. We are... Uh, let me go to uh, the UI real quick and see what it shows. That would be pretty amazing if we ended up in second split. Uh, there's three splits. And 8-12... 14 so if we are 813 and no we're 812 so it's top split um yeah so we are in top split and just not a whole lot of high eye rated guys, but that's good. Hopefully, uh, decent run and not too many cautions. Got 18 cars for 60 laps. Let's uh, go try to do a quick lap here. Quite a bit of rubber still. I was wondering if it was high usage or not have uh, sun going down, but not too dark. We're still doing construction and backing around outside, but we got water back on now, so hopefully that means they're about done. Running the wall there. But yeah, going from SKs at Hickory to tour mods and five flags, feels like we're absolutely flying. So, it's going to be fun. Glad we got a lot of people signing up. And uh, hopefully we have another good race. But I've got to get some speed. Let's just do this, even though we're really not on the brakes, just like the SKs. Let's try to get a good lap here. Because we didn't really fire off and practice very well. Get around the top, get a run to the line. I'm glad we made it worse. Yep. Couldn't even get slowed down. We're only going to have one time lap. Just broke loose on me there. That is good. That means that people are going to be making mistakes and hopefully allow get a cut under out of the corner get runs but we gotta make this one count oh fuck we're not making it count it's easy on it just start us mid pack cause starting in the back is not gonna be good well shit we're still in the back Needed that second lap, I think. Yeah, we're uh, not doing great. It's okay. 60 laps, cautions. We'll be able to make up some, but uh, it's at least will give me a bad points. Because I'm most likely going to be the one of the few that shows up to every single race. So it's going to look like I'm just making up points to uh, be the points leader, but 
if we have a bad points night here, then as long as I don't get wrecked, I'm fine. But we are we're a bit off pace. I mean, 657 would have put us up here in 8th. I just needed that second lap, I think. It's just a little too many slips getting loose there. So we are moving on. Uh, hope. Good run, as always. Um. Oh boy, we got a Red Bull. You'll be lining up on the inside. Don't Close know if Joel's a viewer, but there's a Red Bull on the track. And uh, we got Kyle, who is starting to our outside. Jim is starting a few rows behind us. Joe is the four car to our right. Up ahead of us is Kyle. So, I mean, it's a pretty good strength of field, 2,600. It's fairly good for tour mods. For fixed, um, a lot of those lower I rating guys have been pulled <laughs> into other splits just with all these 2,000 guys showing up. But. Uh, you don't get any extra tire sets for this race, so let's be smart out there. Hopefully get a decent run. 60 laps is fairly short here. If we get a lot of cautions. If we get a lot of green runs, then 60 laps is going to feel really long. If the tires are eating up and it's getting loose on you. Joe's got a YouTube channel. I don't think I've ever went to it or even seen it, so I don't know if he records races or not. But there it is. Oh man, we got two go. red ones up by. there. Starting practically next to each other. Well, we know where the wreck's gonna be. Sorry to any of you who are running a Red Bull scheme. I'm going to dial the brakes forward to start off, to just in case we need to jump on them pretty hard. Post car is off, time to do your job. Impact gets away slow. Behind us gets away fairly slow as well. Just going to take it easy. No rush behind us. Plus, we've seen at uh, Southern National how much uh, tire saving made the 11 fly, so maybe we can save up a bit here as long as we don't hold Adam up too much. We're green still, so that's good. A little dicey, but that's, that's what power does. Tracks a little slick. And we might just be slow. And I'm taking it easy, but... I don't feel like I can get much more out of it anyways. Session messed up, kind of keep an eye on things and 
see a bit of fall off from cars just ahead of Joe. And Kyle ahead is blinking all over. It's like my latency is bouncing back and forth quite a bit as well. I'm hoping that I'm not also blinking. I don't think I am. Quality would be dumping out, but definitely haven't seen the ping fluctuate around that much, but maybe I've just never looked at it. And now uh, Kyle behind us has went into the pits. He may have ended up flipped again or put it in the wall, but now Bob is right on our tail, closing in. We got a Red Bull around, and the other Red Bulls in the wall, so I predicted it, but just means that was a lucky guess. I don't know if they're both out. No, it looks like the other Red Bull's still up there. So, we are currently in 12th. Haven't really pushed the car at all. And now everyone is going to be trying to get everything they can on this restart just because they see how difficult it is to pass. We do have a car that is the other Red Bull in the pit. So both Red Bulls going to the back. That's going to put us in 11th and give us the inside. So Kyle's not having a good day. Maybe I've just uh, transferred my bad luck to him. Just fine with me. I had enough of it. Long ways to go on this one, still 43 laps. Gonna have to make some moves here. Did seem like a few guys were falling off in the mid pack, but we're nearly to top 10 already with those two cars falling out. We can get up around Kyle in the 17 on the start, then that will help. We're just wasting way too many laps under caution. There's no need to have this many laps under caution when you can't change tires. The pit road is closed right now. back green with 40 to go. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. 37.742. Get 
Ready, going green. Let's see if we can get anything here. Start moving up a bit. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Uh, I had to check up there. Joe tried to get a jump, went with the leader, but the three car ahead did not go. And then we hit the apron with him there. But we do get ahead of Kyle. I'm gonna step on it for a bit. Try to get a little distance here. Car really wanting to step out over the bump on exit. Well, let's be a little more careful on exit. Puts us into the top ten. speed on him. Spots. All right. Okay, so far. Other than still just being a bit off pace. A little afraid of the bump on exit out of two. God, if I could do three and four like that every lap. Just that little turn down out of the corner out of four helps so much. Need to figure that out in one and two. Just past halfway, but not able to do a whole lot with the tour mods. Need a softer tire that they're running in real life so that uh, there's a bit of heat and fall off management as well. We'll see, six cars starting to fall off a bit. But again, making a pass is going to be so difficult. Just trying to find a few different lines to try to see if I can get a run somewhere. on Joe on this high side and then he goes up top maybe we can just sneak under him alright he's going to go high in 3 and 4 almost worked to plan 
Let's see him go back down low. I had to do it there. It's not going to work again, but just couldn't get that nose in there. He was able to close the gap enough and hold enough speed. All right, we're overdriving entry right now. I thought he was eating the wall there. I just had to hold it low. All right, back it off. Let the tires cool for a bit. Take another stab at it. 20 to go. Thankfully, green flag racing this is impressive. Because this track really bites you. And we haven't seen anything too terrible. A couple of wall hits, but maybe just not being able to throw a nose on someone is uh, helping keep it clean. Alright, let's go after him again. Got some decent rotation there as it landed. Kyle's getting some pressure from the 9 behind. Go to grabs a bit too much apron. Grabs a bit of wall on entry, maybe. Just didn't turn on him. need him to grab the wall one time when I hook up the exit of four down low and we'll be able to get the nose under him. Can't see him. It scared me that all of a sudden he was going to be in our right front. I'm definitely pulling the car down a lot on exit, but that is just to avoid if he hits the wall. Because there's not going to be any way to dodge it if I'm not already low. Six car gets a little loose on the apron. The car's starting to tighten up quite a bit. Stacked up, especially if Duo goes for a pass. I'm just not sure you can make a pass. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Keeps his nose out of there, though. to try. It was our one opportunity. I was ready to slam on the brakes. We're pushing it to the edge. Everyone is trying their hardest to get any bit of speed. Moving around the track. Playing the games of just trying to find a way to get a run on each other. I don't care that this is for 8th, 9th, and 10th. This is fun. We're having a clean race, able to move the car around, try different things. Oh, I thought Joe was going to go for it there. The six car got a little slow right at about entry. Putting the pressure on, but nowhere to go with it. Sixteen point 
It's just such a difficult car to do any passing in. On a flatter track, you can definitely do a little bit of a bump and run, but uh, I think it would send the guy if he tried it on corner entry here. But if we can sneak to his outside, that's a free spot there from the 15. Joe's working us up the track. Can't get there, but we'll get ninth. Unless I really blow this corner and Kyle gets under us. That was fun though. That was some tight racing. Tried to do everything I could there without running into him. But uh, yeah, one of the features of this car is such high corner speeds that it is very difficult to make a pass. But that's the fun of it as well is just uh, trying to work those lines. But only one caution, so uh, not bad. Let's go see what all happened, who all hit walls, and maybe there was some other contact we didn't see. Oh yeah, Kyle ended up wrecked. What'd he do? Oh, he's pushing wide, hitting the wall, climbing it, and then hard into the wall right front. Three car gets loose, 15 climbs the track, hits the wall, but that was way ahead of us. And then the nine up the wall into the inside wall, but as that was happening, um, Uh, so, at the same time, so we got the this guy up ahead getting loose, and at the same time, both Red Bulls have separate wrecks. So it, it, it was just time. It was like the last lap of Bahrain with uh, both Red Bulls just going kaput. Um, here is Jim, and there is the wall. Keith in the six. He climbs the wall. That allows the three to get under him. Also allows the 15 to get under him. And we've got Red Bull up in the wall. He was getting a good run, and Kyle had to kind of check up there. And then the 15 just really slow into the corner, gets loose, hits the apron, right at the white flag, loses five spots. And uh, that's a rough finish for him. He was having a good run and ends up five spots behind. But that was fun. I enjoyed it. Even though you couldn't do anything, um, there were opportunities. If it was a league race and a longer race, I think, you know, maybe, maybe a little tap, a little bump. But just did not feel safe. On a flatter track, it's easy to hit someone right, but I think here, with the way the set was, we were going to be spinning someone. So, uh, still not quick at all. Uh, only a 793 compared to people out front in the fives. But, um, yeah, we were saving tires and finally got going after that restart. And, uh, yeah. So good run there. Let's check out. None of the other splits have finished. That's not a good sign. Let's uh, try loading it again. So, the other ones look like they're going to be uh, hurting. The points are going to be in the SK Modified Forum, so I will work on those and hopefully get them by the time this video comes out. So, there's three different points championships. There's the SK, the Tour, and Combined. And, uh, no drop weeks. Every split gets the same points. But, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.